It's time for the deep spit. Let's start. Let's start. Listen, listen. Let me explain something about how leaving your nine to five changes your mentality and why you need to leave. Why you just need to fucking drop, especially if you're a young guy. Don't even get used to the fucking opium of the nine to five. The primary reason is it's like you're not freeing your mind for the creativity that you're inspired to be. Like, Mac Miller has a famous line on the song Conversations Part One. Highly recommend you listen to it. But Mac Miller says, you're wasting all your time. I got to look up the, the lyrics. But basically, he says, if you use a little bit of your imagination, you'd be surprised because you're busy wasting your life. And that's the thing when I realized. I realized all it takes is just creativity and imagination and going out and doing it. Are you going to succeed at first? Probably not, but it gets better. And that's the thing you have to understand. You're going to get better with how to become a full-time finesser. And that's really what you're doing once you quit your job. You've just become a full-time finesser. And what that means to be a full-time finesser is you're just looking at situations with people and how to help them. And I'm telling you, you got to look at it like this. Look, and this is why I say keep your expenses low. Like when I was a young guy, I was making down there, let's see, 3000 a month, I think. 2000 a month, something like that. But my expenses was rent was like 500 bucks. I didn't have a car. Food was maybe like another 500 So I was spending $1,000. If I would have realized that, holy bleep, all I got to do is figure out how to make, let's see, what, 1000 divided by 30 days? That's like $33. All I had to do is figure out how to make $33 a day on my own. I would have been left. But I didn't look at it like that. I was thinking like, holy shit, man, I got $500 I'm going to pay, blah, blah, blah. And that mentality is a slave mentality. You got to drop that mentality. Lose the mentality of that, oh, my God, look at the whole thing. Look at it in chunks. Look at it as manageable chunks. If my, like, my living expenses is like two twenty seven hundred something like that. If I break that down, that's 100 bucks a day for 30 days. So every single day, I just got to figure out a way to make 100 bucks. That's it. That's all I got to do. And if I break that down to 24 hours, there's make it into quarters. So you got 24 hours, six, 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 six. That's six times four. So every six hours, I got to make a uh, 25 bucks. That's all you got to do. And when you look at it like that, like, hold up. I only have to make 25 bucks for every six hours. So I got six hours to make 25 bucks. Yeah, that's it. What? That can just go out there, write a book, and just write a bunch of content. And hopefully, if I make the course $30, somebody's going to buy it every six hours. And bam, I just I solved my money problem. I can go outside, go help people. Let me go move some trash for somebody. Knock, knock on doors. Get a lawnmower. Start knocking on doors. Hey, can I mow your lawn? Hey, can I cut that tree down? Hey, can I do this? Bro, you start realizing life is just a giant playground. It all It's just a playground. You got to remember to play. And the problem is so many people get wrapped up in the ideology of, like, the worker. Like, your parents sold you this, this retarded dream of the 1950s where you get a good job, you get a pension and retirement fund and all that. No, 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 no. Man, make your own retirement fund. All that shit is just, it, all the, the job shit that they have in this world is basically a trap to keep you to not believe in yourself. They make you think like, oh, this pension, my health insurance, all this stuff. I'm not saying that's not important, but bro, you can make your own money, your own health insurance and write it off. And you get better health insurance actually than what your job's going to give you. Because here's the thing, if you're working the job, if you're not working all the hours, guess what? The health insurance doesn't matter because you don't even get a chance to use it. That's the finesse they do with you. Like I realized this with the, the union and the, the electric shit. I got dental, I got medical and all this stuff, but it's like, what the hell? If I'm working all day, we're not going to have time to go to the doctor. I'm looking at guys that laid off going to the doctor for 20, 30 years, and now they're all badly beat up and fucked up, and it's too late. Their health insurance does nothing for them because they're already on deathbed. They're already, they're already looking for the eggs, and they're going to be dead by the time they get done with it. And so that's what I started to realize was, man, bro, this game of life, it, you have to bet on yourself at every fucking angle. Never bet on anybody else. Because you're never going to get a great return. You only bet on things you can control. If you can bet on yourself, you're always going to win because you control yourself. Now, if you lose, it's because you chose to lose. That's the, that's the only thing. You chose to fucking not be the best that you could be, and then you lost. But don't do that. Bet on yourself. Bet on you. I'm telling you. You can do it, too. You got to realize this, man. As a man thinking, a man becometh. If a man can believe that he can do whatever he puts his mind to, he will do it. But the problem is most of you guys are so mentally fucking handicapped that you don't believe you can do it. Because you, you think everybody else that you watch failed. Everybody told you you can't do it. And now you really believe the hype. Let me tell you something about the great words of Chell P. Son. And what he, what he once said. You can read the headlines, but don't believe the headlines about yourself. For better or for worse. Don't believe you're greater than what the headlines tell you. And don't believe you're worse than what the headlines tell you. They're just headlines. You can read it, but don't believe it. You have to believe in your mind what you are. And you know what, how you get that? Is by doing the work, the internal work. Doing the internal work that makes you know that I'm going to make it because I put the work into me. And I know 99% of the people I come across never done to put the work in. And I know even though I'm not winning right now, 
I'm going to eventually lap these fools because at some point in time, opportunity is going to come. And when the opportunity comes, my moment to shine is here. I ain't going to let go of it. And I'm going to extend that thing like fucking Barry Bonds on the fucking juice. Just homers, bah, homers, bah, hitting out the ballpark every goddamn time. And the only way you get that is by putting that work in. So get out there, put the work in. Stop being lazy. It's, it's not hard. Just don't be lazy.